Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comments section of our videos. So I have the questions today in our YouTube red bag right over here. And let's go ahead and get started answering your questions. Okay, so this question is from Samuel Harasso. After I use noise removal, my audio quality is very bad. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing what you want to do is um, how to get better audio. Okay, so what I would recommend first is making sure that you record with a good mic, uh, a good quality mic so that your audio is good quality. But however, sometimes that's not really in your control. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how you can salvage and save a noisy audio in Filmora 11. So here's an example of some noisy audio. We filmed this footage on a busy road so you can hear the background noise and it's very distracting. <laughs> we were just walking around and we found this hidden gem. This alleyway mural. It's really, really cool, really, really colorful. So let's fix that. Double click the clip you want to denoise and at the top, make sure you're under the audio tab. If you want to know how to denoise, you just click on the denoise button and choose between weak, mid, and strong to remove the background noises. But today we're going to be using the equalizer to customize our audio even more. Click Customize. To understand the dials of the equalizer, the first three to four dials controls the bass. Usually background noises are controlled here. The dials in the middle control the mid noises, like the mid tones of Elliot's voice. And the last dial controls the high pitch. Under the Equalizer tab, start moving the dials up and down, and then find the right balance for your clip. I'm going to watch mine back and keep tweaking it until it sounds just right. I think this is a good spot. Now, let's play it back. We were just walking around and we found this hidden gem. This alleyway mural! It's really, really cool, really, really colorful. We also have a video on the Equalizer that you can watch up here or in the description below. All right, next question. This question comes from The Void. Very cool name. So mysterious, like what does that mean? The Void of what? What? All right. Can you add animated text for AMVs? Please, Filmora. All right, so in Filmora 11, you do have text that can be animated and you can also customize them. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. You can also animate text in the editing options by dragging the text title onto the timeline. Double click it in the text editor and then click animation. Here you can choose a bunch of preset animations for your text. Another cool addition to Filmora 11 is new blue effects, which includes Title or Pro. This gives you the opportunity to create your own text animation, even in 3D. So if you want to learn more about that, you could go ahead and click this video up here or in the link in the description box below. The next question is from Leo Productions Video Making Channel. Cool. Can you do a tour of the studio of Filmora? Oh, okay, good question. That would be fun. But maybe that could be a separate video. I think that'd be a really cool thing. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see a tour of the Filmora studio? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you want to see. That'd be really cool. Um, you can kind of see it here. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of see it here, kind of. But it's the mystery. Like, what's behind over there? So tell me, do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Let us know in the comments below if you want to see a studio tour of um, the Filmora studio. Studio tour. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Next question. Next question. And this the question is from... Sorry, I looked up because I thought someone was there. No, I was dancing because you were singing. Hi. Next question. Next question. So this question is from Johnny Plays GT. Hi, I have a question. What is the crown icon next to some features? All right, so that's a great question. So you guys may notice that in Filmora 11, there's a crown icon beside some features. This means for some specific features, only users that have Filmora licenses have the full access to them. So features like 4K export, keyframing, speed ramping, and others. So if you see that icon, that means that you have access to those features. So if you don't already have a license of Filmora, you can go ahead and purchase one at filmora.wondershare.com. Thank you for asking. That's a really good question because I also didn't know that. <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> okay, so this question comes from RDGS. Will next versions of Filmora 13, 14, and 15, etc., be valid on a lifetime license I have now? Okay, so thanks for asking. And the truth is, I really don't know because Filmora 13, 14, and 15 haven't really been developed yet. I mean, I don't know, that's way far into the future. So 
I technically don't know um, because I'm not a psychic or a time traveler, so I can't tell. If you're thinking about now, and if you have a current Filmora license, you can definitely upgrade to Filmora 11. So you can go ahead and do that by going to filmora.wondershare.com um, slash video editor to updating your software. Or you can click the link in the description and it'll update as well. Okay? It's a new album. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Okay, so this question is from Arunraj VS. Uh, I don't know if that means versus or just VS. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, thank you. Please show how to masking string to remove a string that holds an object so it looks suspended in the air. Okay, so the best way to make a string disappear um, is with masking. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. First, let's film our footage. For the object, make sure that we can't see where the string is tied to the object. This will make it harder to mask. You can fix this by filming from a slightly lower angle if the object is tied from above. Next, remove your object and string from the shot and film about 10 seconds, or enough to last the entire shot. Make sure not to change the lighting or move the camera at all. Now, open up Filmora 11. Drag your empty background clip to the first video track, and the object clip onto the second video track. Trim the clips to the duration of your choice. Now double click on your top clip and then under the video tab, go into mask and then select the mask shape you want. Move the mask around until the string is in the mask box. Then in the mask tab, click on invert mask. To clean up the mask, you can play around with these tabs to refine the shot. Now let's play our edit back. I think it looks good. So hopefully that was helpful. If you do make a video, go ahead and send us a link because I definitely want to see that, okay? Oh, and that is all the questions that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and for asking your questions. If you have any other questions for our next video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you back. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Disappear! <laughs> Disappear! And cut. And cut.